that was drunk. Hello. Hi, may I speak to Kevin, please? Who's calling? Hi, this is Hazel calling from New York. In regards to? Uh, you, I got a note from our social media team that you had an issue with our service and that you were looking for a call. Oh, yes. Thank you very much for calling. No um, problem. I, I work for I work for but I'm in this help division. That's that's fine. Yeah. Um, thank you for calling. I called numerous times over the past two weeks. Uh, oh I'm unable to rent bikes. I get to the bike and it says you may not take a bike right now. And I have no idea why. No one can tell me why. Oh, my goodness. In the chat. Okay. I have a note here. It's, it's Kevin Costello. That's right. Yep. Right. Okay. I'm going to look it up. It looks, let me look into your account here. Uh, I, I it did update the credit card, um, I don't know, uh, two weeks ago maybe because there was a fraud charge. So I changed credit cards, but. Um, it should just it say bad. Since at least then. It should just say that it's a bad payment. It shouldn't say you're not allowed to rent the bike. Yeah. It looks like you've right. rented from new, us. The new card is fine. So. It looks to me like you've rented bikes from us frequently in the past. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Pretty often. Okay. Let me just look. I'm in your account. There's some notes. Okay. Oh, okay. Huh. Do you mind if I just ask you a couple questions? Sure. Okay. Uh, it look. Have you returned all of your bikes on time for the most part? Absolutely. Every single one. Did you have any health issues whilst you were riding the bikes? Nope. Did you take the bikes into any areas that had any like foul odors or like any weird places like that? No, just dock to dock, usually not too far. Okay. The The issue that I have here, Kevin, is that if it happened once or twice, I guess they let it go. But there's three notes here that every time that they got the bikes back, the seats were really smelly. Like it smelled like feces, they said, and diarrhea. Did you have an upset stomach uh, when you rented the bike? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Never. Oh, that's, do you, uh, did you that's park crazy. it in, in an area where maybe <laughs> some... Some unhoused people had access to it and maybe did something to it after? No. I mean, all the bikes, most of the bikes I rent are in Williamsburg. Uh, they're in very, um, very nice areas, relatively speaking. There's not usually any problems. I almost never have problems with the bike unless it's like a minor repair issue. You have um, problems so with I've your... never experienced like anything like that. Do and I have... certainly don't have any problems like that. Do you have problems with your digestive system? No. <laughs> that you're maybe when you're riding your bike, you're not aware of. I know it's funny, but it's not the first time I've come across this. So I rode about 35 miles this past weekend on my personal bike. So did you I have diarrhea? Did you have diarrhea or gas <laughs> at that time? No, of course not. We don't say of course not. A lot of people, when they get pedaling, <laughs> it sort of loosens up the bowels. It's a known thing. It was a 30 mile bike ride and I do it kind of every couple of weeks. It's not, uh, not an issue I have. That's really, is there any reason you can think of as to why the seats, the bikes? No, that's, it's inaccurate is what it is. I don't know why that is, that's but really weird. Uh, you're on that's the... not a problem I've ever had on any bike, let alone okay. city bike. Cause you're on the no bike list. Um, well, I get that, but, uh, it's incorrect for whatever okay. reason. I'm going to take care of that for you. Uh, let me just see who I have available. Um, I'm going to just, it's a very simple process. I just, I'm going to put you through to one of my colleagues. Okay. Uh, let me see who's available. And, uh, it looks like, um, I'm just going to put you on hold for one moment and I'm going to have one of my colleagues talk to you and we'll be able to clear out your account right away. Okay. I appreciate okay. your help. Oh, my pleasure. Hold for one moment, please. Thanks. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. 
I think he's up. I think I see him up there, maybe. I, I think that might be a Tesla. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it's run. Hey, it's it's uh, Hazel calling from X Division. How are you? Yeah, good. What's up? Uh, I have a customer who's on the no bike list because uh, on three separate occasions when he returned the bike, it smelled like feces and diarrhea. And he what? is quite adamant that he doesn't have any digestive or bowel issues. And he rides about 30 miles yep. and he's never had an issue. Are you serious and here? You've seen this. Uh, there's a bunch of music in the background. I can't hear. You've okay. seen it before. Yeah, so I have him parked on line three. He can't hear us. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put you through to him and have you do, just go through the, the medical survey questions with him, if you would. And then we can take him off the no bike list and he can rent a bike again. Okay. And he says yeah, he doesn't park do it where there's unhoused people or he doesn't, you know, have any digestive issues. Right, but, but every he, time... You know this I've is gotten, city bikes, not shitty bikes, right? Uh, exactly. But I got complaints from the guy who does the maintenance on the bikes that they smell like feces, diarrhea, gas. He's even seen feces smeared along the thing. So they oh put him on God. the no bike list. Yeah. So if you can do the medical and wealth wellness questionnaire with him, we can probably clear this up for him, assuming he passes. All right. What's his name? Uh, his name is, I'm sorry. I just need to, it's Kevin. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just coming through now. Okay. Yep. Yeah, line three, you, you said. Notes. Line three. Yeah, I put you through right now. Thank uh, you so much. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Good afternoon, Mr. Constello. This is Ronathan with uh, City Bikes. How are you doing? Hi. How are you doing? It's Costello. Yep. Costello. Yes. Yeah. Um, so you've been passed through to me just to um, ask a quick few questions to get your account reset here. Sure. I, I understand you've had some kind of problem with gastrointestinal distress whilst using the bicycle. No, never. What, what, is, uh, what has been, what has been going on? Was the, sorry? So what, is, what has been going Hello? on? What's the reason you've got a block on your account here? So the woman I just spoke to told me that was the complaint, but that is inaccurate. That's never an issue I've ever had on any bike, yeah, my personal I'm, bike or hmm. a city bike or anything. I'm looking at the notes here because um, these are multiple independently placed reports from when you've rented from us before. And they all say a kind of similar thing, that the bike was smelly, the bike required extra maintenance. Does it have a location on those? Like where? Yeah, it has all the notes on here. It says in one case an entire seat had to be replaced. And and where was that bike rental? Uh, well, what I mean, of, what part of the area? There, there's various. There's a couple of different ones actually. It looks like you're quite a regular customer with us. Um, there is basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am. My my supervisor has authorized me to just ask a quick medical questionnaire. Um, and what, okay. what we can do is we can reset the account. We can let you rent from us again. I just do need to make you aware that once okay. we once we do that and everything, um, if there are any further problems with this, the, you know, the same kind of thing, then th there could be another ban in the future. You know, I have no control over that. But are you happy for me to go through the questionnaire? So how do I control the fact that this didn't happen and I've been flagged? Well, I mean, it definitely did happen. Otherwise, we wouldn't have multiple independent reports from the, the different locations. That, that, that I can tell you it didn't happen for me. But anyway, it's, it's please just, proceed with the questions. We'll, we'll do one thing at a time. All right, no problem. Can I just confirm your age, please? Uh, 49. Okay, and how much do you weigh? About 160. 150, okay. And your approximate height? Uh, under six feet, five, ten. Right. Okay. So quite high BMI. Not according to my doctor. Okay. Well, it, it's five, five, ten, one sixty. I don't think that's a high BMI. Well, you're quite short and and quite quite heavy for that height. You know, you're quite a short man. 
Mm, no, that's not I, accurate. I, I, I mean, six foot, six foot one fifty. Because the, the the form I'm filling out here, it calculates your BMI for you, um, roughly. What is it? Because I. <laughs> What, um, what is the BMI? It tells me that on the next screen, but I can uh, I can work that out oh, for okay. you right now. Uh, I, can go, I can go to that right now just to tell you. Um, so uh, we're saying, uh, hold on one second, let's see. Uh, so we're saying you're a what? So five feet? No, 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 five ten. Five, five feet, ten. Five feet ten inches, okay. Yeah. And... and and what weight? You said 160. That's correct. 160, okay. So pounds, yeah. 160 pounds. So about 73 kilograms, okay. So uh Yeah, according to my uh calculation, that would make you obese. Yeah, you do need to lose a little bit of weight there. It can affect the the smelliness of your bicycle when you use it, you know? Okay, uh, that's not correct. It may, I, I actually just went to the doctor, and it's. Uh, I know what my VMI is. Well, I mean, put it this way: you could either stand to lose a little weight or gain a little height. You know, either one is fine. So, tell me the numbers you have. Well, I, I just gave you. You gave me the numbers. You're about 160 pounds. You're about five feet ten. Five feet ten. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's, that's the numbers. That's a. BMI of 23. Yeah. Well, no, it's not. It's a little bit higher, actually. If you calculate it using the no. me the metric method, which you should be doing, you're 72 kilograms. Right. You're 72 kilograms, sir, and you're about 176, yeah. 177 centimeters by my calculations. You should always be using metric. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So in the on, on the I'll, metric I'll there, my... Okay. My anus too loose. I'm sorry? My the anus too loose. My bunghole perfectly. I'm sorry, what? The bike seat fit my bunghole perfectly. Bunghole? The bike seat didn't penetrate my anus. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking guy sat on the fucking phone and not a good that his fucking butthole went smelly. <laughs> oh my fucking God. We could have got him into telecourt about how it smelled. <laughs>